Another big story on First at Four, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, the month where we take a closer look at the hidden battle that's being fought by so many people. Mental health is not an easy topic to talk about, and its effect is a lot more widespread than you may think. So let's take it by the numbers to put it all in perspective. Some important statistics to help paint a fuller picture. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, over a million adults in Arizona currently suffer from a mental health condition. That's more than four times the population of Scottsdale. And access to care can be a big problem. 2.8 million Arizonans live in a community that does not have enough mental health professionals. And more than 11% of Arizonans are uninsured, presenting an even bigger barrier to getting help. And the consequences can be devastating. In Arizona in 2021, 1,438 Arizonans died by suicide. That is one every six hours. And this afternoon, there is a new hurdle for Arizonans trying to seek help. There just aren't enough doctors and mental health professionals to give them the care they need. And now a lack of staffing causing one of the Valley's largest providers for inpatient psychiatric care to close more than 100 beds just last week. Team 12's Josh Sanders picks up our story from there. Even with the shortages, you know, over the years that people have talked about, I think this is probably the worst that anybody could experience. Understaffed and overwhelmed, the COVID-19 pandemic has taken a toll on healthcare workers across the country and right here in the Valley. Staffing is an ongoing challenge as many have left the profession. Traditionally, if somebody would leave, at least you'd have somebody to interview. And right now we're not really seeing those high numbers to interview. So if you get three or four people leave, you're not seeing three or four people right behind them. These staffing shortages mean Valleywise Health, which operates three behavioral health centers across the valley, closing inpatient psychiatric beds throughout the pandemic. Last week, closing 118 of their 433 beds they are licensed to operate, currently only able to staff 270 to 290 beds across their three centers. The majority of those beds for patients experiencing a serious mental health crisis and court ordered for care. Chief nursing officer at Valleywise Health, Dr. Sherry Stotler, says the hospital is still using travel nurses for non-psychiatric care, but finding supplemental staffing for behavioral health remains a challenge. You know, every day you're, you're more and more worried. How are you gonna build that team for the future? Josh Sanders, 12 News. Josh, thank you. If you or someone you know is struggling with a mental health crisis, there is help out there. Arizona Behavioral Health Services runs a crisis hotline. We've put the number on your screen, 602-222-9444. Someone will be there if you reach out and they'll take your call. You are not alone.